Alright, man. I'd say it's been a while since we did a Resident Evil game, but it really hasn't. But, uh, let's be doing one. Resident Evil Revelations 1. New game. Normal, casual. Oh, let's, let's do normal. Way. I was not too good at the other one before. <laughs> I have, however, played this one before, when it first came out, which is a few years ago now, I think? Hey, Jill. Notice Jill and whatever his name is, Ernesto, standing completely still and not needing to brace themselves at all. Incredible. Despite the, the fucking all, sea. Man. This thing is lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. I believe there are only three Resident Evils that take place on a ship. Uh, there was Resident Evil Gaiden, I think. And there was one of the Gun Survivor games. And then there's this one. Going at that speed seems like a recipe for disaster. Was she just scooting along on her fucking minge? Since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them right here on the ship. I don't remember the buttons. some of the buttons. Okay, we're automatically running, it seems. So. Okay. I just throw these. Should be a knife button as well as I remember. I might be able to shoot it off. Okay. Two things. Why are these things even on the side of the door? What possible... Again, they fell off as well. What? From, what? How? The stage. It's so, been abandoned for a while. It's our old arch enemy, Slop. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. I kind of miss that the Resident Evil games went away from zombies. I really miss zombies. There's just something about them that appeals to me. Makes Rufus happy. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. Like hey. these wobbly fucking things. I don't think we're alone. Slopped its way in there while spunking along. I think the sensitivity for up and down is not the same and it's fucking me up a little bit. Uh, give me, uh, give me a second while I fuck around with this. Yeah, acceleration's on, aim assist off. Okay, can't, is this one of those things I can't, I can't do anything about? Okay, I guess not. It's gonna be a little annoying. Side by side is more sensitive than up and down, which of course makes slight sense, but it just feels really weird. I don't remember much of this. I remember how some of the enemies looks, and I remember There's blood coming from the ducks. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I remember a few of a few locations, but that's it. No power, which means no elevator for us. I always like Jill. She's one of my favorite ladies from uh, Resident Evil. Uh, I liked them the first one in particular. It's not working. And this one. I didn't so much care for Resident Evil 3, Jill. She was a bit, I don't know. I like it when she's just sort of... Uh, it's, it's that thing about strong women in games and shit like that. A lot of people think that just means someone like Buffy or some dumb shit that just is strong because she needs to be strong, not because she's actually a a sensible character that knows what to do and is trained for it. It's kind of like the sort of the sort of aura Jill gives off. She, she, she seems like she knows what she's doing. In 3, she was running around in a, I think, a tube top in heels doing shit. And it was, it t took me out of it a little bit. In the first one, well, although she was a bit dopey. Huh, the ship's register. Seemed to know what she was, was doing, though. For some ancient queen. In this one, she's also, she's kitted out. She's wearing what she'd probably wear here, even if. It is a skin-tight fucking suit, but who knows? So is this guy, isn't he? No, you're not. Oh, well, I guess double standards and all that. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. Okay. <laughs> Meat machine. Jill, take a look at this. Jill. Parker, I'm gonna take a look give me at a you. hand here. Sure, no problem. Oh, he's not called Emmanuel, he's called Parker. <sighs> that thing's huge. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. Sadly, the wetsuit didn't come with gloves. <coughs> so, it's not Chris. <coughs> the arm is far too thin. These things, in my opinion, just aren't scary. Sure, they can jump out and surprise you, but they're too much this like explains our missing crew. Silent Hill monsters to be scary. Good. Where are you, Chris? It's like they're too far removed from something real. Bubbly bubbly. Do I have to click? I had to click. Ah yes, this thing uses checkpoints. Might be difficult to do uh, proper half hour sets. This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. 
They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bio-organic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Join the fray. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. <laughs> I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? The, uh, Genesis, uh, something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're gonna need it on your mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. Ah, oh, here we are. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that happens in this game is that you get to play as a lot of different people. Ah, it's quite this. kind of interesting. Oh, they're rotted to hell. Also, this fucking thing, they fried it with solar shit and then it just plopped into the sea. I would have proper bombed it because fucking bioterror shit just skin so pale. Lives just as well in the sea. Like it. Use the Genesis to get a reading on it. Right. The Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. Damn it. Look at this. The black birds. I'm getting something from inside it. I remember this is sort of if you watched my Revelations 2 let's play. Uh, you're actually not. Neither has spoilers for the other. They're they're quite standalone, so that that's good at least. So you can watch them in any order you want. Metal inside. Careful now. Don't worry, I've done this before. Seems like a really stupid idea. I've got something. 
You know how infectious this shit is, yo. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? What is this? If and why do you have long nails? Ah! This could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. <laughs> yeah, sticking your hand into something like that. It's like, okay, so. Uh, if it's the T-virus, which it isn't, but let's pretend it is. You need to, to break the skin or enter through some sort of orifice or something like that. This thing, you have no idea where the fucking bones are inside. And if it's rotten, you might easily stick your hand through, poke a hole in your hand on the rib. And it. It moved! I kinda figured that. Don't worry, we're on it. Oh yeah, Nando, you probably shouldn't. This thing is fairly gross. I wonder where its crit spot is. Does that mean you're dead? Nope. Oh, oi! This must be a cakewalk. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation, but proceed... They are so nonchalant about this. The fucking outbreak in the first game happened, uh, it's, well, it didn't exactly spread to Raccoon City through the, through the dogs, but, I mean, any fish here could be fucking infected, and this is the sea, could be literally anywhere. It's like, god damn it. That was gross. Ugh, that smell must have ruptured from gas. What a mess. Uh, give me a second to try and figure out the melee button. Ah, piss. Oh, I see. Uh, ready aim weapon, use sub weapon G, and use weapon knife Genesis, zoom in, action F, use herb, uh, is there not a quick, quick knife? Uh, it's not. It's been so long. Is that a grenade? Use weapon with G. Okay. Yeah. What I was saying before I got distracted, as usual. In re revel uh, uh, Revelations 2. You, uh, you played as either Moira and Claire, or Barry and Natalia. And uh, we don't have enough data to run a complete analysis. Gather some more samples from the carcasses on the beach. F what? Yeah, you played as either one of those two, and the secondary character in that was able to uh, point at things, kind of like how we're using this Genesis thing. So we were, you would be searching for stuff like this sometimes. Like that thing would not appear if I hadn't done that. So uh, it, it's good and bad. It's it's a bit of a time waster and needlessly length, lengthens gameplay. That's a lot of dead fish. But uh, it's also quite cool. It uh, rewards you a little bit for doing doing extra. But for let's play purposes, it's uh, it's a bit naff. 
Right, so we just found out that one of those were alive right there. What, shouldn't you be calling dudes in? I've collected enough samples. Good. Get them to me ASAP. That gave me a single healing item. Where's the twat? Is he back there? He's over there. He was just talking to us though. Fucking knew it. Have a grenade, you fat twat. I think I killed it. They have such silly mouths. I think the inside of its gold is the crit point. It's gotta be in it. Training, some peace and quiet. All in a day's work for you two, eh? All right, enough chit chat. Get Paul fucking dudes in. Jesus Christ, it's there crawling with cunts. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. They're not all corpses. I coincidence, they came through the FPC's blockade. Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from the <laughs> Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Good, get to it. Jill, Parker, you two are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. The signal was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. I'll go back to HQ, take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. I think it's actually a staple of a decent game that I'm finding us about about something as minuscule as Jill having long nails. Of course, no one working in the sort of job Jill works in would ever fucking consider having long nails. First of all, it's... It's fucking... It's gonna deserve you. Crap's gonna go under there. You're working with viruses and contaminants. You're, you don't want anywhere that you can you can snag shit. That's, uh, that's just bad. You don't want that. But, uh... And you work with your hands, you should not have long nails, it's just, it's a hindrance. They fall off, they get ripped off, they snag on things. Don't, don't be a twat. You think these things got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. Alright, then let's find him already. Chris has got thicker arms than Jules' thighs. You hear that? You could just punch Is these things the to lock? death. I'll check it out. Okay. I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. Something else. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. So much shit. Fucking full on handgun ammo. Well, don't don't homo. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's knifing. If I don't aim, then I knife. All right then. I've checked this, haven't I?
Come on, jump scare. It's a bit, it's a bit ass they got rid of the uh, fucking the uh, inventory system from four. I really like that. It made a lot of sense and was a lot of fun. <clears throat> but then they went to five and decided, fuck it. Come on, slopper. Was this the way I was supposed to go? I IDN. Oh yeah. Hang on ammo in it. What's on the other side? I definitely maybe might be going the wrong way. Yeah, this is these outside. I'm very likely a shitter. Jesus Christ, Jill, you run slowly. You ran faster than one. I suppose it's the circulation from this fucking wetsuit. Oh, my fucking blood's just being held in place. Did the power come on? Was that what happened? No. Fucking uh, Estevech probably told me exactly what I needed to do, but I wasn't paying attention because I thought I knew what to do. Like a right shitter. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucking door right there. Uh, disregard my homo, please. Okay. Chris. Chris. Is that his arms? Come on, say Jesus something. Christ, a knob on that door. <laughs> I Fucking found massive. Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it. I thought you were the master of unlocking, Jill. What's what's going on? Hmm, odd. Up or down? Let's go up first. Oh, the light's dangling. I thought that was, uh, fucking, uh, Ernesto. I thought I could double tap to crush doors. Relight my fire. Oh. I like how I can find this shit through doors. Handgun ammo. Here at Slopper. Wonder if there'll be a Slopper in the toilet. Let's find out. Guys, there was a Slopper in the toilet. Okay, that wasn't working. I thought I could do some sort of crisp maneuver or some shit if he came too close. If I staggered him. Come past him. No! Why is he so slow? Is there an actual sprint button? This 
scan you, you pile of shit. Did I just disturb his private pool? He's completely in the right to be upset. Okay, it's half an hour. I need to get to the next checkpoint. I think I just need to shoot him in the head. It's just really annoying the way the fucking... The way the... Uh sensitivity works gets on my tits you might say massive anchor every fucking door's locked stuck locked save you. Ah, I just saved. Let's deal with this next time then. Till then, 